Hello, Kristen here. Thank you for tuning into my channel. Don't worry, I will get back to the hair videos <laughs> shortly. But as you know, I decided to incorporate other topics, um, not topics, but other things into my channel. So even though my channel is called Loving My Hair Journey and the main focus of my channel is hair, I want to talk about other things that I like doing. And you can't change the name of your channel once you already choose it. So if you don't like you know other videos besides hair videos you can kindly click the X instead of being rude and leaving a rude comment so anyway this is just going to be a collective haul of makeup that I've been collecting over the past month or so um I love makeup as you can see I'm wearing some right now um I, I just I just love makeup and if you didn't know I had a beauty blog for like two years and I stopped because running a beauty blog Running a blog in general is a lot of hard work, but running a beauty blog that's even, is, is really hard because you gotta buy products, you gotta review it. I did not have time for that. So I fell out of love with makeup and I slowly started accumulating more things and I've been using it a lot more because I'm not out buying stuff every week. So anyway, I'm just gonna show you some things that I've been getting. Um, the first few things I'm gonna show you is from Wet n Wild. Um, and these two palettes, this is from the Pop craze collection I believe um, a lot of um, makeup enthusiasts makeup artists and beauty bloggers have been going crazy about these things and they can't find them anywhere I'm I was really shocked when my Walgreens got them in because usually my Walgreens takes forever to get things in and so um, the first one I picked up was hard being a girl I'm gonna open it because it's glare um, this is actually the one I'm wearing today on my eyes. That blue is extremely pigmented. Like the blue I put on my eyes, I only had to tap the brush in here one time. But yeah, um, that's what it is. And I think these are $2.99. I'm not sure. So yeah, I think they're, li they're a limited edition. And then this one, this was the first one I picked up. I just love that blue right there. So yeah, that's what I picked up. I don't want to swatch because I don't feel like wiping it off. I'm being lazy. So if you ever want to, if you want to see swatches of these, leave a comment and I'll email you a picture. I mean, yeah. <laughs> and so the next things I got, um, I've, I've actually worn these and they're very pigmented. They last all day. You, can, you really cannot go wrong with Wet n Wild eyeshadows. They're very, very good. If you're on a budget and you want some good quality shadows, Wet n Wild. Um, the next things are these lip stains I have a love-hate relationship with these lip stains I tell you I'm not gonna swatch these and I'm gonna tell you why they're a pain in the ass to get off I, I'm telling you okay the thing about the lip stain is they're pigmented they're absolutely beautiful they look great on the lips but they do not feel great on the lips at all um, when I first bought these and I posted a picture on Instagram this girl she was like you're gonna hate those and I was like okay first when you put them on, the thing with lip stains is you want to let it dry. You don't want to rub your lips together like you would a lipstick. And um, so you got to let it dry and you can't rub your lips together so it's, it's very awkward. And then once it dries, it's extremely drying. And you can't, you can't really put a lip balm on it because then a lip stain will come off. And do not try to get these off with a makeup wipe. It won't come off. You use an oil so the, the way I got these off was like with the coconut oil that I use for my hair. But these things I have to remember I will not buy anymore I mean they're beautiful but as far as how my lips feel <laughs> um, and I finally picked up these Fergie um, this is the I, I stay doing that anyway I have the two Fergie bronzers that one is a highlight um, this one is called Carnival in Rio and this I've been wearing this like every single day I'm not wearing it today go figure but this is absolutely gorgeous. I don't use it, uh, I use it like as a blush. The other one I, I use the blush also, but it's great like if you just want that glow. If you have darker skin than me, this would look great. It's just an all over glow. So yeah. So that's what, uh, that's that. And I also picked up this eyebrow kit from e.l.f. Um, I love this eyebrow kit. Like what I usually do is I fill in my brows with this. And then I'll use this um, creamy stuff to just set my brows. So um, I really do like this. is only $3 and I got it from Walmart. 
Okay, and another thing that I have, I had been trying to find, to, for me, Walmart is the cheapest place when it comes to makeup, drugstore makeup, because Walgreens and like CVS, especially CVS, like to mark up the prices. So I have been trying to find this mascara for the longest time, ever since I saw a picture, I can't remember who it was, and she had a before and an after, after she applied this mascara, I said, I need this mascara in my life, and it is the Revlon um, Lash Potion. This stuff is absolutely amazing. Focus, there we go. I love this mascara. I mean, it just, like, today is like the first day in a long time that I've worn eyeshadow. Like, a lot of days when I put on uh, makeup, I would just put on mascara, I do my brows, put a little bit of blush, and then a lipstick. This, you, if you just want to leave the house with just make your eyes bolder this is the mascara to do it I really really love this um and then I could I don't need any more brushes I just have brushes galore like I could just dirty up half of my brushes and still have a million brushes to wash but anyway I purchased this eco tool set because I'm a sucker for eco tool brushes I love their brushes and um it opens up like this and you get um you know this face brush right here and then you get um, these different um, this is like a concealer brush I believe and this is a like a lip brush I don't use lip brushes I, I guess you can use a lip brush like if you had a very dark color and you wanted to make sure it got precise but I really I normally don't use lip brushes so for me like the concealer brush I mean I'm just gonna use these for eyes because this one it would be I mean it's just a great it's, it's it's everything in here is supposed to be a face brush but yeah it says it right here pointed concealer like this would be great as just getting in the crease or whatever so yeah um, but I like this because I mean if you do want to use this up for the face it's cute it comes in a little clutch or whatever and it zips up I don't remember how much I paid for this. I think $12.99. Um, that was all purchased maybe like all this other purchased like a, a few weeks ago. Um, and today I went to Sephora and got a few things. Well, three things. Um, I picked up this. Sephora has a sale on their brand of brushes. And I was at the register. I didn't plan on buying any brushes. But when the lady asked me if I wanted to buy some brushes, and I was like, how much are they? She's like, $9, $10. I'm like, okay. This brush right here says Sephora um, Professional on it, and it is a um, bronzer brush. Um, this is so soft, but look how compact it is. You can easily, you know, just do your bronzer. You can even do blush. I pro you probably can even do powder to set your face. It's one of those, even though it says bronzer, it's one of those multi-purpose brushes that you can use it for so many things for your face. So I was glad I got that and it feels very sturdy. Another brush I got, I always love the look of these brushes. I love them. Um, this is a, it says, um, you can't really read it because it's the same color as the brush. Um, synthetic cream um, blush. So I asked, when well, I didn't know the name of it, I asked the lady, how do you use it? And she's, I said, is it like a, a contour brush? Because you can easily use it for, you know, contouring. And she said, it's for cream um, blush, you know, cream blush or cream foundation. But I thought this is the perfect brush if you just want to get, you just want to chisel, you know, um, contour. So, yeah, you know, the thing with brushes is, is that you don't have to use them what their intended purpose is, but I love the look of this brush. This brush was $9, and I just loved it. So, there's, I, I think they're getting rid of a lot of their different brushes, and um, they're selling these, but it, kind of, it comes with a little cap like that to, you know, keep it from getting dirty and the little rubber thing down here. And I love that the Faro is right here. You know how some of the, uh, most brushes have them up here? I love that it's down here because if this were to break off, the brush is not useless. So yeah, last thing coming up is the thing I'm most excited about, and it is the Urban Decay Naked Flush Palette. You guys know that Urban Decay is going everywhere with the, with the Naked line because when the Naked Palette came out, it just took off, and then the Naked 2 came out, and then the Naked Basics, which is what I have, and they have their BB Cream, 
um, the Naked line, and I just, I love it. So, I got this. I've been wanting this ever since I saw it. And it looks like this. And, um, you have your blush and your highlight and your bronzer and everything. And some, I was watching a video, I think it was Julie G, and she was saying how the bronzer doesn't really show up on her skin. And, um, yeah. I think for me, instead of using it as a bronzer, because listen, I will make things work. Uh, that's the type of person I am. You know, I, if it, it, for me to not use a product, it has to be that I've tried it every which way that I could try it and it doesn't work. I will use that bronzer as a natural looking color blush when I don't want to wear a lot of makeup, something just to put a little color on my face, that's what I'll use it for. So everything else, I mean, is really, excuse my nails. Every time I come on here, my nails are, um, this highlight is really nice. And then this blush is like, you know, a typical pink blush that a lot of people have in their collections. But yeah, I really like this. This was 29, I believe, which I don't think is a bad deal because you would get three products in here. But yeah, I'm good with makeup for a little while. <laughs> So yeah, um, so that's that's my haul over the past like month or whatever. Um, and if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And I am telling you, I will get back to the hair videos. But until next time, I will see you guys later. And I hope you guys have a great weekend. See you later.